Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 39. That is, what is localization testing? Let me answer. Localization testing in simple terms is nothing but testing performed to check localized version of a product. Okay, a testing which is performed to check the localized version of a product is known as localization testing. But what exactly is this localized version of a product? A localized version of a product means a product which works for specific culture or locality, okay, is known as localized version of a product. Testing such kind of, okay, testing such kind of localized versions of the product is known as localization testing, okay. Testing performed for checking the localized version of a product is known as localization testing. I'll give you an example guys, so that it will be more understandable for you. What are the examples here? If you take Windows operating system, I'm using a Windows operating system. As you can see on the screen, my operating system is Windows operating system, which is Windows 11 as per today's date. Okay, this is Windows 11 operating system. So when I click on some options on this operating system, all the options are coming in which language? They're coming in English language. You see the browser under the browser name, Edge is in English. Microsoft Edge tooltip is coming in English. All apps is in English, Wind is in English. So whatever the options you select here, all this type here to search, all these are coming in English language on this Windows operating system. But do you know that there is a Windows operating system which is specifically created a localized version for Japanese people, okay? There's a Windows OS product which is a localized version of Japanese, okay? For Japanese people, there is a localized version of Windows operating system, okay? Let me show you the example, guys. Okay, this link, I'll open this here. You see, this is a localized version of Windows operating system for Japanese people. Okay, you see all the all the options are coming in which language Japanese language here. Okay, similarly, there is a localized version for Korean people also. Okay, so the one who speak in Korean, right, uh, or understand Korean, right, they actually use this kind of operating system, Windows operating system, which is based on Korean. You see all the Korean stuff is coming here. All the options are in not in English. Okay, few are in English. It's not completely Korean, but uh, you see most of the things are Korean, right? Most of the things are Korean. Fine. So like that, guys. There are localized versions of a product but why the companies have to develop such kind of localized versions of the product english is enough right it is a universal language nowadays but uh, still japanese is there korean is there why the companies like microsoft is building windows operating system uh, are creating this windows operating system a localized version for japanese and korean people the reason behind that is the reason behind that is so they will get more people okay more people will use the software there will be some set of people guys who don't use windows operating system because that is in english they don't know english okay there are some people around the globe in different localities around the globe having different cultures and all uh, they don't understand english guys okay so if this company like microsoft is building windows operating system for different okay localized versions if it is creating like for japanese people korean people and so on chinese and so on then what will happen is it will increase okay the number of people using the software okay the number of people that are using the software around the globe will rise because so there will be some people who can use the windows operating system using japanese okay that kind of people will use windows operating system using japanese okay so more people are going to adapt to the software guys okay that's the only advantage that is going to get as part of localizing a product okay by localizing a product version this is what the advantage that companies will get they will get more market okay more people start using the software fine two you see here as software testers as software testers we have to test this kind of localized versions of the products to see whether they are working fine or not okay and they are othering to the their culture values and uh, rules and regulations of their localities and all okay so the all these things keeping in mind we have to perform localization testing okay so there is a checklist guys okay to understand the localization testing in a better way or in a detailed way there is a checklist for that okay what is the checklist here you see based on the language okay based on the language so as part of testing a localized version of a software we have to take care of this checklist okay this is not the entire checklist okay but uh, at a high level you will get an idea what exactly the localization testing is when you go through this checklist okay so examples of the localization testing kind of thing we'll perform here is based on the language guys you see Different localities or cultures may use different number formats, right? They they may not use the same number format, okay? So in India, we use a different format. In USA, they use different number format, okay? So we have to, while testing the localization, uh, while performing localization testing on a localized version of a product, we have to see whether that kind of uh, formats are being followed as per the locality needs and uh, requirements that, lo uh, that kind of number formats are being used or not, we have to check. 
so writing directions not everyone writes from left to right right english we generally write from uh, left to right but not other other uh, languages okay other uh, other locality languages uh, may not be writing from left to right uh, if you take an language like urdu or something they they write from right to left base, okay so right to left so spelling variants uh, spelling so because different languages have different uh, grammar and spelling english is a different thing whereas uh, japanese uh, way of writing the spellings or grammar will be different we have to make sure that things are good uh, different language rules will be there and the keyboard shortcuts okay so keyboard shortcuts will differ for different uh, languages and all okay so all these things we have to check when you are performing the localization testing on the localized version of a product now date and time formats okay these are also differs guys okay in us they write in a different way in india they are right uh, in india most of the people write first uh, for first date then month and then year but in us they start with month then date and year so it differs right for different locality different formats are followed we have to make sure in the localized version of the product this kind of formats are being followed as per the locality needs and expectations or not we have to check calendar types different type of calendars are used currency you see in us we have dollars and in, uh, india we have uh, rupee and so on right so keyboard usage okay i already explained that keyboard usage uh, you see uh, different locality people use different uh, types of keyboards okay so not all keyboards are same so we have to see in which locality which type of keyboard is being used and uh, whether they can use that localized version or not using the keyboard or not we have to check aligning and organizing the data okay once uh, you change the english format to another format another language or something the alignments will change guys because the size of the words okay login may be just login here but uh, in japanese or something for example here if you take so in one of the language you see the size is this much okay one two three four letters is there okay for this option but here it's like a different thing right only two letters are there okay only two letters are there here here three letters here Two letters, and let's see another one. Uh, let's see other one. You see this option. If you see how many letters are there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters are there. Another language or another uh, localized environment we have one, two, three only. So it differs, right? So accordingly, we have to make sure uh, the UI part is good or not. Okay, alignment is correct or not. Alignment of these words and letters is correct or not because they change from language to language. symbols and icons okay symbols and icons so let's say like what symbols we are using are they proper symbols or not okay so based on the locality icons and symbols are properly used or not we have to check in in some localities different symbols will be followed in some other localities different symbols will be followed so we have to make sure the symbols and icons are correlating with their uh, location okay locality sensitivity of information guys okay something that is good in one location may not be good at another location guys okay it will it uh, some something that you casually write in one locality which works in one locality that may not be applying to that kind of words may should not or may not uh, should not be used in other localities right so there are kind of cases sensitive information according to the localities to be taken care of okay not everything will work in all the locations legal requirements legal things are different right for example if you are building an income tax application in india the way of the income tax and all the things will be different whereas if you go to dubai uae or usa okay the the way the things are is different right so the process the legal things are different for example in india if you if you just cross a traffic signal or something okay the the amount of fine they we charge at india is less but in uh, in dubai or some other places that is very costly guys okay costly affair like uh, if you just cross a signal then you are gone okay very strict rules will be there so we have to see whether our application is adhering to those local requirements and uh, legal requirements and all rules and regulations standards and regulations or not we have to check culture culture matters right culture matters so we have to see how the names are provided uh, some some places like first name last name will be there some people will be using first name middle name last name It can be depending on the localities guys title title means like how you are respecting the person mr mrs okay in different languages for example if you go for telugu language okay sri srimati kind of thing will come into picture so that is titles then government numbers okay so Uh, different localities will have different uh, security numbers and all those stuff okay so how, how the other numbers uh, in india like uh, in us there will be social security number like the different things passport passport types also will be different colors colors used should be different according the color should match with the locality images the kind of images used okay whether they are they are, like we have to check the images guys we have to test the images to see where they are, whether they are localized or not okay uh, they got converted to that particular locality or not okay symbols 
we have to say all the symbols are properly according to the culture they are mentioned or not okay locality and culture and many more is possible guys this is just a small high high level list just to make you understand what exactly is localized te localization testing and how it is performed on a localized version of a product now guys we came to the end where i'm going to explain the difference between the localization testing and internationalization testing internationalization testing is also called as globalization testing okay whatever i explained so far is the localization testing but there is something known as internationalization testing and globalization testing which both are same so what is the difference between this localization testing and globalization testing that is internationalization testing let me explain now okay so i'll take an example of amazon.com okay i'll take an example for this to under to make you guys understand what is the difference between localization and internationalization i'll take an example of amazon.com okay so let me go to the amazon.com website here i'll say amazon amazon.com i'll say once i go here guys once i go here you see there is an option here uh, the flag of uh, usa is coming and the english language is being selected and uh, there are different other countries also like uh, uh, we have portuguese and uh, we have other countries okay a lot of other countries japanese chinese and a lot of people a lot of uh, countries are there here so what i will do here is guys once i hover the mouse on this i want to change it okay i want to change country and region okay i want to i want to use amazon in india not in because i am i am from india right okay i'm from india i want to use this uh, amazon uh, application in india so for that i want to first change the country and region okay once i select the change country and region here i'm getting a drop down guys okay just select that drop down and you see different country flags are there for china for india okay let's say i'm from india right i'm, I'm from india so i want to select india and just i'll say go to the website you see the moment i say go to the website uh, instead of amazon.com you see amazon.in is coming in stands for india okay in stands for india not only that guys okay not only that guys in india people understand english okay in india people understand english only the conversions may be in rupees for example if you go to any of the products for example this uh, let's go to this one of this product guys okay you see it is in rupees okay it is in rupees okay the local currency is being specified if you are testing this particular application in india guys you will make sure that uh, whether rupees symbol is being coming or not here dollar should not come when you are testing this localized version of this amazon application in india okay localized version according to india if you are testing this particular application you should, should you should see rupee symbol what if you use this uh, uh, amazon.com with the us currently the country is selected as us and if i select any of the option here on the top you see dollar symbol is coming okay so testing whether the application is working according to the local needs okay or the locality needs or culture of the locality where you are using the application is known as localization testing if i am testing this application to see whether it is uh, adjusting to my local needs my country needs or not, nothing but it's a localization testing what i am doing is a localization testing okay here i am testing this application not only this guys if you go if you dig deep into this amazon in india again they divided uh, into they, they they localize this particular amazon application in india to multiple languages also okay uh, for example i go to my uh, my mother tongue telugu okay so i'll click on this telugu and i'll be taken here guys i'll be taken here so you see uh, all the words are coming in telugu language now right uh, and they should be kind of you know right they should adhere to my rules and regulations and uh, it should not impact my culture and all okay so everything should be properly written here okay so everything is coming in the telugu language okay that uh, which is my mother tongue and all so like that guys i can test this application if i am testing this application for my locality where i am staying okay so in india i stay in telangana and where uh, telugu is the mother tongue so if i am using this application in my local language uh, with all the stuff okay i should i sh if i am testing that application in my local language that means it's a localization testing okay you see all the options are coming right all the options are coming so all the options are coming here and everything is coming in telugu okay which is localized uh, local it's a local local environment if i am testing this localized version of the product that means the localization testing but what is globalization testing then what is globalization or internationalization testing it means testing whether the same product for example here the same amazon.com product okay amazon.com product is working in different cultures or localities across the globe okay is this amazon.com to see whether if to see whether this amazon.com is working for different localities around the globe for example amazon.com is working for us amazon.com uh, is working for portuguese okay in portuguese also in portuguese also it is working okay in portuguese also it's working so for different uh, 
place is is it working or not amazon.com is working for different localities different locations and all those stuff so let's go with uh, one of them uh, canceler and uh, applying i applied something you see it's uh, it's working in some other locality wise okay so but the application is same right the same application by changing the options in the application it is working for different localities okay it's working for my uh, mother tongue telugu okay at my locality it is working it's working for uh, portuguese and uh, working for chinese it working for japanese lot of localities it's working so testing the capability of the application whether that is working or not for different cultures or localities around the globe at a high level is known as internationalization testing or globalization testing here internationalization globalization testing means multiple localities you are testing but here in localization testing only specific culture or locality only one locality or culture you are specifically focusing and testing that is called as localization testing at a broad it is a if a single application is working for different localities testing that whether the application is working for all the localities and cultures is known as internationalization globalization testing okay testing only for A specific culture or a locality is known as localization testing. So, hope guys, you got the idea what exactly is localization testing now. So, with this, guys, I'm done uh, explaining or providing the answer for this interview question. So, that's all for this session, guys. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.